Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Commander? Here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So, a Krogan and a Salarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Salarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So, the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog, and the Salarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous! The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself! The implication being that the Salarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Salarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well... Well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Salarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for... God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court-martial us after we save the galaxy. Commander? What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the Combuy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. Hello, Shepard.
Okay, Commander. I dug out some letters my youngest sister wrote when she was in high school. She was... having a hard time. Teen drama and all that. Just needed her big sis. I guess with everything that happened down there, I just wanted to read them again. You sure make some unusual friends, Shepard. That is not a side of these sorry I ever want to see. Shepard? Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jah. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditika preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Commander. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. Later. Later. It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but... Converting other life forms into reapers? I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. Later. Commander. Dr. Tassoni found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. Perhaps we can talk later. Perhaps we can talk later.
Hello, Commander. on the Asari, who were turned into Reaper creatures. The Ardat Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. Commander. Do we need to talk, Commander? Okay, toughest mission. Horizon. No fair, I hadn't joined up with you yet. Fine, the dead reaper then. Really? The husks just ran up to us. Have you ever noticed that I carry a sniper rifle? You're the one who likes things at short range. And you prefer to keep everything at a distance. Exactly. Wait, what? Creepiest thing we fought. The Thorian. But wait, what did you mean? I didn't mean anything. I'm going with the Rachni. The Queen? But we didn't fight her either time. No, the little ones. They look like spiders and they scuttle right toward you. I thought you liked it when things got up close and personal. I guess it depends on who it is. Hey. Hey. Nothing to report, Commander. Commander. Nothing to report. The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. Everything is in order. Hey. Hey. Good job.
Commander. something. Reapers eluded. Signal confirmed. Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Signal confirmed. Evasion successful.
I found something. attack. There's activity across most of the planet. What about the temple? Can you raise the scientists? Negative. All channels are scrambled across the spectrum. The mission's looking really dicey. This is too important. It's now or never. Shepard, that's my home down there. I have to go. Then get to the shuttle and let's do this. Liara, do you have anything more on this artifact? These coordinates the Counselor gave you are for the Temple of Athame. My mother took me there once. It's several thousand years old. And for some reason, it has classified government funding. Sounds like we're on the right trail. What if we're too late? My people are dying down there. Your empathy is a weakness. You must numb yourself to loss. Benezia took you to this temple? I was just a child. I thought it was a history lesson, but now... Maybe there was more to it. What do you mean? I went digging through her old files. She had heavily encrypted records on this place. Some dating back centuries. I still can't crack most of them. Whatever's going on, it's well hidden. I've studied your old mission reports. Your mother was indoctrinated. Yes. We had to kill her. Yet it did not stop you from fighting. As I said, steal yourself. Many more lives will be lost. We can't ignore that people are dying. The Reapers may not have mercy, but we do. It is their indifference that gives them power. Then let's show them there's another way.
This can't be happening. My home. There's no time to mourn. We're exposed up here. Let's get down. Like my leg isn't even there.